Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. We are today doing an interesting topic. Uh, it is about the usage of uh, artificial intelligence 3D modeling uh, during our car design processes. As you already know, Wiscom AI, uh, I have only just uh, in, uh, inserted side view sketch to Wiscom. Uh, and then there is a simple uh, generating of 3D data. Uh, as you can see on the screen, this is the result. If, uh, and I, I am going to be exporting this one as OBJ. STL version didn't work. Uh, some I don't know why, but I imported OBJ uh, into the scene, and it is scaled down too much. Actually, it is scaled down. I'm just trying to uh, scale it in in the scene first, navigating, uh, and then I'm just going to be comparing our uh, Viscom made 3D mesh data uh, with what we have created in the previous videos you can if you didn't watch those videos you can find the link uh, here somewhere over there uh yeah i'm just going to be scaling this thing it's like 280 times scaled down i don't know if there is a option to fix that issue but i'm just fixing it manually in the in the directly alias user interface uh you already know wiscom is just doing really great um ai sketches conceptual developments uh, already but uh, when it comes to 3d modeling it's just following a little bit slowly uh, i see that it is under development still because there is a much more quality version of the 3d export but it is still in the development process it seems it it is says it says beta so it didn't create um 3d data because I don't know if it's just failed actually so i just use the standard general uh, free version um we are just going to be comparing this 3d data that we uh, ended up with uh, by using viscom ai and i'm just going to be comparing that uh, to my finished let's say um jaguar type zero uh, model uh, first thing first the quality of the mesh data is not that good uh, but I can understand that. But the proportions, uh, when it when it comes to the side view, it seems like it got better results than I do. So I was thinking like we could have we could have ended up in a better situation if we were to implement this type of mesh model by uh, Viscom AI to our first step of the video. Uh, maybe we could. We could have used that one as a reference 3D uh, cloud, 3D mesh, to kind of settle down with our proportions because uh, settling down the proportions took a little bit time. Uh, I mean, overall, it took four or five hours for me to develop this uh, exterior subdivisional model in Alias. But if we were to implement at least this volumetric data by Viscom AI, maybe we could have gotten in a better situation uh, proportion wise. Of course, there is not any detail, but at least still it kind of improves our workflow. Uh, if we if we implement that in the very first step uh, of the 3D modeling. So I am just I kind of scaled my model uh according to what we have from viscom the proportions are kind of get get kind of better um and we will be comparing to of course the the one that we uh, ended up in the first place at the end of the previous uh, videos and the one with the uh, scaled version according to the viscom mesh so yeah um there are there is one another one other um ai tool as well uh, we are going to be using that one too uh in this case we are going to be using this viscom data as well uh but before that let's compare the let's compare the models on the right hand side we have our uh, finished model on the left hand side the one that i scaled according to the viscom ai to be honest, the proportions on the 
other one is better actually the one that we uh, developed uh, do, uh, just by the um, hero shots of the uh, hero shots in the press proportional wise it is not that correct okay we can understand that this is uh, so some sort of implementation of jaguar type 0 but on the, on the other one uh, which we, i just scaled a couple minutes ago uh, by looking at the viscom ai mesh proportional wise it is it got better actually because ai kind of read the proportions in a better way than uh, i did uh, so it kind of speed up our initial process yeah proportional wise it got actually better but the thing is the quality of the mesh was not enough actually so there is another tool which is called hyper 3d uh, under this website there is one ai tool called rodin or rodan i don't know what it's called first i implement uh, i uh, applied the same site sketch and pro i did a prompt but the, uh, the result is not that compelling i this is not what we are aiming and there is another uh, option here uh, you can implement a, a mesh data as well just to be just to give the reference site sketch uh, and the viscom ai mesh i'm just going to be implementing here uh, on the website as you can see that mesh data is from viscom pretty much we are just combining between two i'm not going to be explaining how to use this uh, exact ai this is just so simple i'm just exploring uh, as well with you at the same time i didn't know how to use it actually i was just recording along the way i learned uh, of the usage so after you click generate it gives you a data it, un it understood the proportion since we uh, supplied two different aspects one is side view um, photo shoot one is the uh, very basic mesh data it came up with something but i try here uh, i'm just going to be redo uh, to see if it's changing because in in viscom ai i don't know maybe you 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 do the same thing the data will be the same i don't know why but i kind of created a couple of times in viscom but 3d data was just the same uh, i mean it didn't even change anything so maybe you do better than i do um yeah in here i'm just redoing it so we will see a couple of changes but at this phase i'm really wondering the quality of the data of course with the subscription you have much more options but in this case i'm just using the free version of the tool um depends on the mesh size uh and the details that you enter to the um, ai it kind of asks you to subscribe but i'm just using the free version and i really wonder the quality of the data comparing to the viscom at this phase so we are just uh, going to be getting that data out of the system out of the interface and add to the uh, alias interface as well i can say that it's quite detailed compared to viscom it is quite detailed i mean this tool as far as i see is mostly used for gaming industry kind of cartoonish um, 3d models uh, mostly used as you see the uh, when when you when you go to the uh, website you see the examples of the um, users but yeah let's import the data and compare between at this phase i'm just trying to find the data as you, you see this just tiny but from what i learned from the viscom import it is 280 times scaled down so we are just going to be scaling up this model once we um, rotated it correctly 
uh, compared to our subdivisional modeling. Yeah, I mean, the overall summary of this uh, video is like we can implement um, we can implement initial initial basic mesh cloud data by AI to our workflow. But it seems like it's not that uh, mature yet. It's just doing its baby steps still. But eventually, by looking at it, I can easily say subdivisional modeling is just about to go down. I mean, this method can take over the subdivisional modeling, in my opinion. Or at least um, it's going to be speeding up our process uh, in, a, in, a, in a good way. But in the end, if it gets a little bit more detailed, if it understands the material differences, I mean, it already understands, but the quality um, quality of the data compared to industry standards is quite low, quite low. So it's not taking it over yet. But in the long run, it seems like the subdivisional model will be the first method that we say goodbye. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you for watching and comment your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you think AI modeling will be taking over the um, traditional modeling? It seems like subdivisional modeling is uh, just going to be disappear as these kind of methods get um, get a little bit improved. It's doing already good job, but yeah, it's only now speeding up our processes, and that's all. Yeah, let me know what you think, and thank you for watching the video. See you on the next one.